Okay, I'm breaking my video silence and <laughs> I feel a little scared, a little nervous because I don't know. I guess I just took such a long break that I have to like re re put on my big girl panties and um, you know, share my heart and soul a little bit with you guys and I want to make sure, I try to make sure, I can't make sure, can't control everything. That my messages uh, are of value and they lift you up and light you up and and um, help you in some way. So the truth of the matter is the last six months, has it's been pretty intense. I hit a deer. It was really bad. And uh, I didn't have my car for seven weeks. So that was a real challenge. And, uh, you know, my I probably told you guys this a while ago, but my son's in private school. So I just have had more financial demands. I started working really crazy hours, not getting a lot of sleep. I started eating too much. Um, I started eating not good foods, lots of sugar, way too much alcohol, not a lot of movement. Um, I left the studio that I was teaching at, so I actually didn't teach for about three months, which for me is like absolute torture. So I just went through this time of like feeling like there was all these obstacles and things that were standing in my way. And it became such a humbling, humbling, humbling experience. But it also reminded me why I started. And here's why that's important because I've talked about this a lot. You have to know your deep why with whatever goal you have, whether you're trying to follow your passion, whether you've got a weight loss goal or a clean eating goal, you need to get down to your deep why. Because we are emotional beings and everything that drives our life is via an emotion that we wanna feel. So your deepest why can't be like, I wanna lose 10 pounds. Like that's not a why. Like it could be, I wanna be healthier so that I can, you know, play with my kids more, um, that will make me feel happier and lighter and brighter, right? You gotta connect it to a feeling. So anyways, my tangent on this is I had pushed so hard with my teaching and following my passion for a good five years. And even though I still loved it, I just started to get really burnt out, really tired, really exhausted, and there was just some shifts that needed to be made. Oh, so yeah, so I was basically forced to take a break, which Tiff is not always patient and Tiff does not always like to be forced into things that she doesn't think is right for her, even though they probably are. And so now that, that I'm getting through that and I'm getting back into my groove, which by the way, I did gain 15 pounds, which I'm not excited about, but I'm working on it. You know, you know how I do. <laughs> um, so as I'm getting back on track and back into teaching, what it taught me, A, it was super humbling, like I said. B, it, rem it made me remember why I started and, and why this is so important to me. Like, honestly, you guys, not, not sharing, not sharing like my heart, my soul, and, like my positive messages and my inspiration and you know my personal development stuff and motivating you guys and like being excited about Omnia Yoga and like what that's doing for not only myself, but the, the lives that it touches. I just became, I became so, so sad and uh, unfulfilled. And so that's why I started reaching, excuse me, outside of myself for all these coping mechanisms because it was like I it was like I needed something to like numb these feelings of I feel so sad and unfulfilled inside and I know I have like this light and these gifts that I want to share and when I'm not sharing it like I start to cr crumble I start to self destruct and so it was such a beautiful and painful reminder of why I do the work that I do because it's not comfortable really to to always put myself out there you know but the feeling that it gives me the feeling of like I love well, first of all I love helping people I really love helping people I want to help you <laughs> so the feeling that it gives me makes it worth it because like I feel like I'm doing my part right like I I think we all came here to be of service in some way and so when I feel like I'm being of service um, by, you know, using my divine or God-given gifts like that, that is what lights me up and makes me excited. And when I stop doing that, I pretty much crumble and become a hot, hot, hot mess, you guys. And so 
that's what I've been doing. I've been hot messing for like the last four to six months. Uh, and it was a great reminder, a great reminder of what not taking care of yourself and not doing things that fill you up and light you up, what it, what it does to your life. So, you know, I think about people that, um, struggle with regular coping mechanisms or even addictions. I'm like, how much are they ignoring who they really are and what they came here to share? Because it is actually painful to ignore, um, your piece of service because I, I genuinely, you guys, I believe that God put a gift, a divine seed of greatness, if you will, on, on my heart, on your heart, on everyone's hearts, um, that, that you came to share with the world. And when you're not doing that, it's almost like, it's like soul crushing. And so, you know, you're not expressing what you came here to express. And so you start using unhealthy coping mechanisms to, um, mask that pain. I mean, that's what it has felt like for me. So now that I'm back in my groove of yoga and meditation and journaling and, you know, really diving back into Omnia yoga, I'm, I'm so freaking excited about it and speaking again and sharing my heart and sharing my soul and, um, showing you my struggles and my vulnerability because you're not alone. You're not freaking alone. And, and if you, go through hard times or going through a hard time, like there's a lesson in it, I promise you. And and when you're in it, oh my God, the cows are running. Oh, they're so cute. You guys, I love cows secretly, don't judge me. Anyways, when you're going through it, it can be really dark and confusing and scary and I don't even necessarily feel like I'm like out of the woods, but um, there's a, at least a little bit more clarity about what was going on and the lessons that I needed to learn and the re, oh, the baby cow is running now. I can't even, you guys. Um, <laughs> anyways, there's always there's always a freaking lesson in, in your dark moments, I promise you. And it will make you stronger and it will make you better. And it, and maybe it'll just help you to remember like why, why you're doing the work that you're doing in this world or why you're called to do certain work in this world. And if you're feeling like you're reaching for a lot of unhealthy coping mechanisms, the cows are ridiculous. Um, Take a peek at how you're ignoring yourself. And the reason, you guys, the reason that I love yoga and dance and journaling and meditation and things of that nature is because it gets you in touch with your true self, with, with, with who you really are and with your God-given gifts and talents. It helps to like strip away these masks and these layers of things that maybe you think you are, but you aren't. Um, and it gets you closer to who you really are so that you can start sharing that. And then you start to feel happier and you start to need less food and less sugar and less alcohol and less shopping and you know, whatever your coping mechanism is and no judgment, by the way, like no freaking judgment, you know, hot mess express for the last, I don't know, whatever. I love you. Uh, eight minutes. I'm going to stop, but, um, I'm not even going to say, I was going to say, I'm glad to be back, but I'm not even going to say I'm back because genuinely I've been taking it day by day, day by mother flipping day. <laughs> All right. I love you guys. And, uh, stay tuned. Stay tuned.